Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you how to add white noise to a snare in Reaper. Now, white noise is a random signal having equal intensity at different frequencies. It's typically used as a special effect on a synth, but it could also be used to reinforce a snare drum by adding frequencies to it. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to create that effect to blend some white noise with a snare. I have a project set up here with a drum machine. I have the MIDI information up here, and each sound is being sent to different tracks. My kick, snare, and hi-hat. But this effect could also be used with real drums or a real snare. But in this video, we're going to use a drum machine. So let's hear what we have now. So let's start off by creating a new track. Down over here, let's bring it up to the top and name it White Noise. Now we're going to add a plugin to this track that's going to create that white noise. But before we do this, we should bring down the volume of this track. Because white noise tends to be very loud and it's just going to pop on when we add that plugin. So let's go to the effects on this track and let's search white noise. And right over here is the plugin. And it looks like this. Now we're not hearing it now because the volume is turned all the way down. But if I bring it up, we'll hear it. And that's what white noise sounds like. But before we bring this up, let's add another plugin to this track. Let's add a gate. We use the Reaper gate right over here, Rea gate. And this is going to gate the white noise so it's only triggered when the snare is being hit. Let's bring up the threshold all the way up here. And it's being triggered now by the white noise. We want it to be triggered by the snare. So what we'll do is we'll change the detector input to be auxiliary left and right. Then we need to send our snare to this plugin. So we'll go to the snare track in the routing and drag it to our gate. Notice how the cursor changes to a patch cable, letting us know we're creating a send. And now it's going to send from audio one and two from the snare to three and four on a white noise track, which is the auxiliary input on this gate. So if I play the track, we should see the gate being triggered by the snare. And we see it right here. So let's bring up the volume on this track. Can you hear it? Let's solo it so we can just hear the white noise. That sound is blending with our snare. And we could reshape it using our gate. If we want to make it longer, just bring out the release. We'll make it shorter with a shorter release. And we can make the attack a bit longer, so it'll make the sound sound later, like this.
or make it quicker so it reacts very fast. Let's bring this down even more. Without and with. And we could also bring out the hold to make it longer without it fading at the end, like this. Creating a very gated sound. We can also turn off the snare so we just hear the white noise. Again, before and after. It just adds some more aggressive frequencies to our snare. And like I said, you could use this for a drum machine or even for real live drums. So that's pretty much it. That's adding white noise to a snare in Reaper. I hope you learned something. Hope you can use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Mm -hmm.